Well, health care, something of a dirty word these days, and medical bills can be costly and complicated. NBC Charlotte is helping one family who thought they had just a $50 copay and instead got a bill for more than $1,100. Who's to blame? And what can you learn to protect your own family? NBC Charlotte defender Michelle Bowden explains. But what would really freak me out is that he would stop breathing. Kristen Cole was convinced her husband had sleep apnea, so she encouraged him to go to the doctor. He said that we need to do a sleep study, find out exactly what's going on. So I asked the doctor, I said, you know, do I need to get this pre-cleared uh, with the insurance company? They told me that the nurse would take care of that. So the nurse came in, let me know that it was authorized, and I asked her how much I was going to have to pay. And she said no more than the $50 copay. The doctor's office showed him this document as proof the insurance company authorized the procedure. But a representative from the insurance company tells us that so-called authorization number is really more of an identification number that just starts the process. Rob Cole's doctor here at Charlotte Eye, Ear, Nose and Throat sent him to do an overnight sleep study at a hotel nearby. That study did indeed confirm he had sleep apnea. And then in April, I got a letter from United Healthcare, my insurance company, saying that something wasn't going to be covered. And then in May, I got a bill from Charlotte Eye, Nose and Throat for $1,185. Well, I was just outraged. Very angry, very upset. His insurance company told him they deemed the sleep study medically unnecessary and had never approved the study. The reason for the insurance company's denial? They say he should have done an in-home sleep study, that that is what's included in his coverage, not the hotel, as he says his doctor suggests. And they never mentioned an in-home sleep study? No, no, I didn't know that that was possible. Rob Cole says he also didn't know his doctor's office was fighting with the insurance company about coverage. How can uh, the health insurance company determine whether a test is medically necessary when a doctor ordered the test? How can they deny it if the doctor says you need it? There are so many people that are absolutely struggling with outrageous surprise medical bills. She's right. We talked with UNCC professor Michael Thompson who teaches a class on this. It's pretty tough. I consider myself a fairly savvy consumer and I've struggled trying to understand it and navigate it. Thompson himself dealt with this on a personal level when his son was battling leukemia. His best advice? Know your policy. Most consumers have high deductible plans that require them to pay pretty hefty sums out of pocket. Also, call your insurance company directly to make sure you understand what they will and won't cover. Don't rely solely on your doctor's office to handle that. It frustrates me to no end. Cole says if he has to pay the unexpected bill from the doctor's office for getting his official sleep apnea diagnosis, he won't be able to afford the treatment. He says he's tried calling the office repeatedly since May and only got a call back when we started asking questions. The doctor's office refused to talk with us about his case, saying only, quote, our goal is to provide comprehensive quality and ethical health care in a favorable environment to all patients. Since they were the ones that had told me it was only going to be $50, I really don't think that I should have to pay $1,185. In Charlotte, Michelle Bowden, NBC Charlotte. And if you have a story the defenders need to know about, email the defenders at WCNC.com. You can also send your tip to WCNC by calling or texting 980 2 wcnc 36. All right, a local.